I was born during the civil war and it was a very traumatic experience, but it didn't stop there because conflict is still ongoing. And uh, we had during the past years, a thread of um, incidents and uh, violence. At some point you become paranoid, so it doesn't leave you. The memory is always there. Lebanon is a very complex uh, country <laughs> politically and um, there's a lot of uh, conflict and um, corruption and lately uh, we had the revolution in 2019 and I was and many of our friends, uh, we were part of the revolution claiming our rights and home back because Personally, I didn't really feel home in Lebanon. So yeah, so during this revolution, we felt like we were claiming home again. But then again, the revolution was politicized and um, it's a big disappointment. You know, at some point you feel you give your country so many chances and it doesn't give you none. So I decided it was time for me to leave. I've always wanted to leave, but something was keeping me there because, you know, I had my design studio and I was working with people in lab, like locally and internationally. So it felt also in a way, you know, grounding. But then again, after the, the, the big problems, I decided to um, move to Berlin. And I really love the city and I, and I find um, a lot of similarities um, between Berlin and Beirut, culturally, in a way, artistically, and also politically, the divisions between East and West. And, you know, there's all, and artists, I mean, in Berlin come from all over the world, you know, they, they thrive here and they have a voice. So it's, this is the parallelism that I, I find between both cities. And both cities have like a, a also a destructive and a poetic feel to them. I used to paint when I was young, but then I stopped when I uh, focused on photography. But then during the pandemic, um, because we couldn't go out, I felt the urge to do something with my hands. And I started painting again. Also, the pandemic really traumatized me, as, as many of us, because we didn't know what it was. And um, I felt the urge to um, seek vibrant colors. And I started painting um, myself in fictitious interiors, because I felt it was kind of safe um, to project my other reality in my paintings. 